moves, the Earth moves along the ellipse around the Sun. The Sun is located at either one of four sides of the ellipse. Now let us move on to the second law. Moves an imaginary line of the movement of the planet and the Sun for every month of the year, we can see that when the planet is close to the Sun, it will form a wide but short triangle. And when the planet is far from the Sun, it will form a thin but long triangle. The Earth would have to adjust its movements in order to match the imaginary area and imagine of other planets. It is the ratio of the squares of the periods to the cubes of their average distances from the Sun is the same for every one of the planets. The comparison of each planet can be shown in this illustration of other planets.